Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, we have some good news from Intel. AMD is releasing a ton of new systems, Threadripper 5000 specs and release, and Nvidia's RTX gaming GPUs are incredible. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, we have some good news on Intel's Alder Lake as well as Raptor Lake CPUs. The report originally comes from leaker Komachi, who shared a filing by Intel to the SATA IO organization. In the filing, you can see that it lists both Alder Lake and Raptor Lake, which essentially confirms that Raptor Lake is in fact the generation after Alder Lake. Not only that, but this more or less confirms that Intel's upcoming 600 series chipsets will likely support both Alder Lake and Raptor Lake. Of course, how well they're both supported is still up in the air, but this is good news. And of course, with all this new hardware coming out, make sure you get the best prices with today's sponsor. Micro Center, the store that's got it all. From custom water cooling to a huge selection of cases, CPUs, even motherboards. And the best part is that they're actual stores across the US, so you can see the products before you buy them. And Micro Center is the place I trusted for my first build years ago. To top it off, they have a custom PC builder, so you know you're getting the right parts. And you can even have an expert assemble it for you the same day. Oh, and did I say best prices? Because Micro Center consistently has some of the best prices in the industry. Oh, and for a limited time, when you use my link in the description, you'll get a coupon code for a free pair of wireless headphones with no purchase necessary. Next up for today, if you've been following the channel, you know that not long ago, AMD quietly released a new system based off of a custom APU called the 4700S, and it quickly became clear that it's almost certainly a Ben PS5 APU, meaning something was wrong with the GPU and it didn't meet spec for the PS5. So instead of throwing it away, AMD disabled the iGPU and is selling it as this kit. So far, we've seen a couple kits selling in Asia with one review of a version with an RX 550. Well, that's apparently not all, as according to a statement from AMD to Tom's Hardware, system integrators are planning to release a whopping 80 systems based on the chip. Not only that, but Tom's Hardware asked if the 4700S was built from the same SoC as the PS5, and AMD basically gave a non-answer. As Tom's Hardware points out, AMD was only referring to the kit instead of the chip itself. Ultimately, I'd argue there's pretty much zero chance AMD would make a chip just to disable the iGPU, especially with the limited support for discrete cards. Regardless, AMD clearly has a ton of plans for the APU. Whether those will come to the US is unclear right now, but it's definitely an interesting proposition for some future compact builds. Next up, we finally have specs and release info on AMD's next-gen Threadripper CPUs, so let's get right to it. The story originally comes from MoPC and later by video cards. And first up, we have a roadmap that shows the codename to be Chagall. It also gives us some specs, starting with a faster interconnect speed from 16 gigatransfers per second on Threadripper 3000 to now 18. Next, you can see that AMD is in fact sticking with DDR4 as well as PCI Express 4.0. In fact, most everything else stays the same from the 7 nanometer node to the configuration and even TDP. We can also see in this graph that at least according to MoPC, core count will remain the same as well. Really, this is effectively a Zen 3 upgrade through and through, which is obviously what we expected. We should see a decent TDP uplift as well as higher clocks. As for release, earlier rumors suggested an August launch, and while the leaker Greymon55 is getting a bit concerned, Executable Fix seems pretty confident that it will be released next month. Either way, Threadripper 5000 is definitely something to be excited about. And lastly for today, we have a huge story on NVIDIA's next-gen RTX 4000 series of GPUs, or whatever NVIDIA ends up calling them because they technically already have a 4000 series with their Quadra cards. Regardless, if you've been following the channel, you know that NVIDIA's next-gen architecture is rumored to be Lovelace. We've also heard some early rumors on specs from known leaker copite 7 Kimmy, as well as some performance discussion, but not much. That is, until now. Plus, we've got release timings. In a new tweet from known leaker Graymon55, he claims that the NVIDIA RTX 4000 cards are set to get upwards of double the performance of their 3090. 
And what's even better is that Copite 7 Kimmy, who's definitely gotten a ton of things right in the past, replied with quote, easy, and Red Gaming Tech is apparently hearing something similar. So while Greymon55 said that this is just what he's hearing, it's clearly looking accurate. Now, he later replied that this is purely rasterization performance, but of course, NVIDIA's ray tracing performance has already been really good. Moving back to the leak, Greymon55 also claims that it's built from TSMC's 5 nanometer node, so this is certainly set to be a monster of a GPU. Unfortunately, 5 nanometers won't be able to keep the power draw too low as, according to another tweet, next-gen cards appear to have between 450 and 550 watt TDP. Talk about a power hog. Still, this is a pretty huge performance jump. And finally, we have the release timing. Moving back to that first tweet, he claims that NVIDIA's upcoming cards are set to be released in Q4 of next year to Q1 2023, which probably means the first cards will come out in Q4 with more slowly releasing into the next year. Now, that's obviously a ways off, but remember that we've been seeing news of an RTX 3000 Super refresh, and while those are only rumored to be for mobile, I'd be surprised if we didn't see desktop parts as well. So that makes the Q4 2022 date seem really plausible. At least that'll give us time to save up for new power supplies because of that TDP. So while that does it for today, are you excited for NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs? And if so, do you think it'll beat AMD's RX 7000 cards? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. Plus, don't forget to pick up your free gift from Micro Center. And as always, have a great day!